two tip and today we're going to show you how to blend paint. Uh, the first of all the thing that you want to do is you want to be able to uh, mix your paint up and make sure that it is a blendable uh, color, that it is really close to the color that you're painting. Now the fender that we just painted is silver and this one does not match, we on purpose made this one not match for the demonstration but normally you want to get that just as close as possible. And what a blend is, that's where the, the new color that you're painting transitions into the old color, kind of like a, a fade, if you think of it like that. Uh, it actually kind of fools the eye a little bit because sometimes it's not a perfect match, but by the time you blend your paint out, you'll never be able to notice where. Uh, first of all, what we're going to do is just mix this paint up. It mixes one to one with the reducer, and we'll just mix it up like we normally would painting anything. So I have two ounces of paint here, so I'm going to put two ounces of reducer. Start up. Now it's ready to put it in the gun and spray. Okay, we've got the paint mixed up. We've got it reduced and ready to spray. We're just going to show you. Uh, this is the fender that we're going to be painting, we're going to be blending into. And this is the color we're going to use. You can tell it's quite a bit darker, but we're doing that you know, on purpose to demonstrate how to blend. And uh, like I've mentioned, blending is just basically, let's say uh, we, we're painting this fender and maybe we had a door here and if you just painted just this fender not the door you know that would be called a butt match and sometimes that's hard to achieve a uh, color match that way so what we do is we paint this fender and then blend in the door but for this purpose we're just going to show you how to blend into this fender uh, where the, we'll paint this edge and then we will uh, blend the paint in to the existing paint I'm going to lay some tape right here just to kind of demonstrate the difference in the color, I'll just put it right on the edge here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a stripe along the spender. Uh, I'll put it right here so we can see how the transition works. Okay, we'll tack this off and we'll spray the, start spraying the paint. Okay, I've got the fender uh, masked off like I want. I've got it tacked, ready to spray. And what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is you want to get your paint mixed up just like you normally would any base coat, whatever brand you're using. This one's one-to-one -one with reducer. And I'm just going to paint this edge because we're assuming that this door, that we just painted this door, and we want this fender to match the door. So we're going to paint this edge, and this, this paint and the door will be the same paint, so it's going to match right here. And then we're going to transition this color into the original color there. So uh, what I want to do first is just put cover this panel until hiding. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, put enough paint on there until you cover the tape or whatever. If you had primer here, you know, you'd want to uh, cover the primer. And by the way, whenever we're doing just one panel like this, this is called blending within the panel. I'm going to blend just in the panel. If I had a dent right here, for example, I could blend out this way and back this way and up and down and not have to get into another uh, adjacent panel. But, uh, so we're just going to paint this edge on a normal coat like you would paint anything. But, you know, probably just paint about uh, six to eight inches. two coats of color on the area that we're blending to on that fender. Now obviously that is way off. That would not be a blendable match. Uh, but you know that's what we're doing for this demonstration is to show you. But the next thing you would do when you're blending, especially in high metallic colors as silver like we're shooting, is uh, you're going to mix the paint in with some, uh, some clear. It's not like your clear coat. What this is, this is basically a base coat, just like the paint that you're shooting, but it has no pigment in it. So it's a, it's a base coat with no color. And what you're going to do with this, since it is a base coat, you're going to mix uh, it up one to one with the reducer, just like you would uh, with your paint. So we're going to mix. Two ounces of that. We'll put two ounces of 
reducer. Now we've got four ounces, and now we're going to take the paint that we just used and mix it one to one with this clear. So we're going to pour it up to eight ounces now. And now we're going to extend the blend out a little further with this. That'll help blend the color. originally painted, I went past that a little bit and kind of fanned it out to kind of let that paint over spray get, uh, blend into the existing paint. Now normally that would probably be good, you know, if that was a, a matchable blend, but it's not. This is more like a fade. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that one more time with 500 just to help make more of a transparent uh, blend there. So I'm going to do it just the same way, uh, mix this one to one reducer and then mix what I already have mixed with that one to one. Now the paint is even more transparent. Okay, so that's basically, basically how you do a blend. We've got the, in this case, the darker color, which blends into the lighter color. color which, uh, of course, this is noticeable because it was such a different color. But, you know, it's a lot, if this was a butt match, you know, it looked like this right here. And, of course, that would be very noticeable. And now this kind of demonstrates, you know, this is the exact same color as this is. And you can kind of see how the blend transitions uh, from the darker color into the lighter color. So that's kind of covers blending. And now what we do is we'll clear coat the entire panel and then, you know, it would be ready.